History Up High is a celebration of the history of kites and hot air balloons, which there is such a, a rich history of both. And we want folks to come out and have a really good time, be active in the field, flying kites, watch the kite flyers, watch the balloons, maybe take a balloon flight, but also be learning a little something at the same time. So I'm Roger Clark, um, commercial hot air balloon pilot, been flying for 40 plus years now. I'm Chuck Holmes. Um, I don't know if you'd call me a professional kite flyer or not, but <laughs> I started flying when I was 12, actually really flying when I was 13, uh, soloed when I was 14, which, you know, thinking about turning a 14-year-old these days loose in an aircraft is kind of scary, but <laughs> probably was for my parents back then too, but uh, I've been doing it ever since and, and loved every second of it. As far as the kite flying, we will focus primarily on kids flying kites and adults flying kites and making memories, having a good time in this beautiful field, this wonderful kite flying field back here. So we are at Walnut Grove Plantation and aside from it being uh, a space that where there's lots of space for these activities of the day, there's also um, a rich history of Spartanburg County here and um, not too far away there is some hot air balloon history. There was actually a crash of a hot air balloon during the Civil War and the pilot was taken, uh, taken as prisoner because they thought he was a spy. And then after that, hot air balloons were used for spying during the Civil War. So we do like to have a little tinge of history in everything that we do, make people learn while they're having fun, which is sort of the best way to learn. For History Up High, one of the things that we want everybody to be aware of is, you know, what feels like a nice light breeze for a person, you know, in the sunny day like we have today. Um, a balloon carries about three tons of inertia, so 6,000 pounds getting pushed around by wind is kind of hard for the crew to hold on to um, and can be dangerous, so we don't want to, you know, move around and, and bump into anything or anybody. So. Uh, you know, we, we ask the, the public's understanding that we wait until it's, it's the best conditions for us to put the balloons up and, and definitely fly. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's just too windy, uh, but that typically is in the five to seven mile an hour range is what we like. Any more than that, and it's, it's not comfortable to fly in um, or put the balloons up for the tether rides. But, you know, the, the balloonists come here with the intention of, of giving a great show. And so they are as anxious as the public to, to be able to put their balloons up and kind of show off a little bit. History Up High is on April 13th, that's a Saturday, and it will be from 12 o'clock until 8 o'clock. From about 12 to about 4, the kite flying will be happening. Uh, we encourage folks to either bring their own kite or we'll have some kites for purchase when they come out. And then starting about 4 o'clock, the balloons will be doing tether lights and pleasure rides. A pleasure ride is where they will go into the balloon basket and take off. They'll, they'll be gone. And the tethered rides, they are connected to vehicles that will be in the field. And they'll go up about four stories and give people kind of an idea of what a balloon flight is like. We'll also have live music by Jonathan Stevens and the Stubborn Hearts Band. They'll be playing from three o'clock until five o'clock. We will have vendors and we'll have a kid zone. We'll have a face painter. The Spartanburg County Library will be here doing some fun activities and the Spartanburg Science Center will be here as well. So lots of things to do throughout the whole day. I guarantee you when you take your kids home, they'll go to sleep. <laughs> We are still looking for some more volunteers. We have a good number so far, and we would like a few more. Uh, volunteers can be doing anything from uh, helping with repairing kites that might be broken, helping people that are not sure how to fly their kites. They can be the Kite Good Samaritans, we're calling them. And we'll also be looking for people to be on the balloon cruise. So they will be helping the balloonists set up, um, taking the paperwork that people need to fill out, making sure that people don't trip over the tether ropes, things like that. We have all the information that you need for tickets, for being a volunteer, to be a vendor. Last minute for that, the, the deadline is almost up for being a vendor to apply for that. And that is SpartanburgHistory.org slash History Up High.